Hello everyone, this is reassessment number five. I'm changing up the format a little bit because uh, the old way was just too cumbersome. You know, I had to go to PowerPoint and then you know type everything and then make sure all the numbers correct. So it's easier for me just to show you the, uh, the verified uh, closed trade on Profitly and then go over it. So on this one, uh, reassess reassessment number five, I'm going to be going over Amazon, Baidu, and Fei, F-E-Y-E. So first up is Amazon. So I took, I, I sold a put on this on the 5th at 144 and closed the trade at 55 cents. So made a profit of $88 there. So that's the trade. Now here's the chart. Here's the daily chart. <clears throat> so I entered on, it was on this big green candle here. That was the uh, entry. And when it gapped up, that's when I sold it. So now let me bring over a five minute chart. All right, so this is the entry. Uh, now I, I have this rule about not entering, not doing anything within the first, you know, 10 to 15 minutes because you never, you know, that's that's the wild west in the first 15. So, and even if I did enter in the first, you know, two to three minutes, I would have chased. And then maybe as, as it pulled back, I would have panic sold or something of that nature or panic covered in this case. So, um, after the initial uh, burst, it pulled back on lower volume, so that's uh, you know that's a bull flag sitting up. So I said to myself, okay, so if it cro if it makes a new high on the intraday chart, I think it also coincided with the um, the daily chart. Maybe it was a bit higher. I'm not exactly sure, but nonetheless, uh, once it broke over the high of day at the open, I took a put. I sold a put at what was it? 144 with the uh, 367.5 strike. Let me just check here something here. So, you know, it, it went up, made a new high of day, came back down, you know, it was kind of trending and, you know, eventually made a new high, another high of day, which was great. So I didn't have to look at a loser. So the next uh, morning it gapped up and that's when I sold somewhere at 374.5. Uh, my intro, my exit was 55 cents, so I I know this uh, I placed it on the bid, and that's where I got filled. I think the best exit I would have gotten was maybe 52 or 50 cents. So overall, pretty nice trade. All right, so next on the line is Baidu. Let's see, it was a one day hold as well. Um, shorted a put. It's at uh, the 180 strike. This was uh, pretty good. Uh, took 60 uh, 60 dollars as the premium and gave back eight. So let's take a look at the daily chart. The entry was on this on the day of this huge green candle here. Let me drag this out a little bit. All right. So once it broke through one, this was 180.5. Oh, actually, this was 180.48, but you know these corner numbers can act as uh, resistance. So I just said, okay, if it breaks over 180.5, I will take an entry. So 180.5 is a out right here this is a five two day five minute chart and as you can see I you know I didn't wait for any sort of flag or anything of that sort um, I could have probably went right here um, as a as a breakout but you know I don't I don't want to hate myself later on if it fails to break out 180.5 so I wanted that confirmation I wanted that daily breakout or whatever it was whoops so I wanted it to succeed on the daily, and that's why I took the entry. So, so I got in here, you know, it did quite well for the rest of the day, and the next morning it gapped up again, just like Amazon, and that's when I sold on the bid. And last but not least is Fei, F-E-Y-E. -E. Here you go. Uh, this was a short that I took, and I, I don't recall if uh, I took it because of the... Um, they had an offering at $82, and so I'm not sure if I did it before or after that occurred, but let me bring up the chart real quick. All right, so fade, the, I shorted the call, meaning I'm bullish. Where'd it go? There it is, short the call on the 6th. So it was, yeah, okay. So this was definitely on the 6th. Let me just double check this one more time. Okay, right, right. So, sorry about that. So, on the 6th, um, so it was before, I guess on the 6th it was uh, before, the, before the offering? 
No, I think it was, I think they had the offering on Friday and that's why I shorted. But I think I shorted on the low of day break. So right here about give or take. If not, I waited for a uh, a lower high because I wanted some, you know, here's some consolidation. That's great. And I wanted to break down underneath right here. But then it went back up. So then if it hit, hit, made a new low of day, I would get in. So one of those points was the entry. So I apologize for not, you know, writing it down, you know, the date and time. And but anyhow, um, you know, it kept sliding. And then on the seventh, which is, which is Friday. Okay, on Friday, that's when it gapped down, and that's when I sold my uh, my puts, my two puts. Um, technically, I should have just waited. You know, there was no reason for me to, even though I took 48% on this, there was no reason for me to even cover at all because, you know, it got downgraded. So it's it's heavily in my favor. It's the 105 strike with the price being at, you know, in the mid 80s, lower 80s. So I should have just held this. The current uh, price on this is, let me check real quick, F E Y E. Let's see, 105 calls. Currently, the 105 calls are at 15 by 25 cents so there you go there was no reason for me to to bother covering now just one final note on feye well actually two actually the first is um, I couldn't get a verified trade in on Friday about an $88 loss I had because there's something going on with light speed uh, they sent down the email today uh, Monday about Friday so that'll be in hopefully um, after after today so the problem was now, 80 was a key number, okay? And if it had broken under 80, I would have wanted to short 100 shares just to, uh, you know, you know hedge, hedge myself. And for some reason, I thought that uh, the, on the break under 81, for some reason, I thought that was 80. So I kind of panicked. I was wondering, hey, why isn't my order executing? So I manually uh, shorted 100 shares at, I think, 80.50. And then I ended up covering it at 8130-ish for that loss. So you know I'm, I'm new to this Lightspeed Web Trader. Um, so I was, and, and of course I'm new to you know selling premium. So I was kind of you know, it was just a pan, little panic I had that I regret. But we all have to learn somehow. So that's about it. Just those three trades that I covered for a profit and the stupid silly $88 loss I had.